Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle, and in this video we'll be talking about two awesome bonuses that carnivores can get in this game. I did a video about herbivores and how well cranberry relish is working when on a team and this 25% extra experience. Definitely still, cranberry relish is the easy way to go, but not the only way to go. We'll be talking about hard way, which means carnivore way, I will show you how to get tasty squares too, as well as cranberry meatball grinder. Okay, first let's take a look on the ingredients for tasty squares too. You will find it under prepared food, scroll down, and under prepared food you have tasty squares too. What you need to craft it is squirrel bits and tato and salt. Then squirrel bits is the hard part, but not too hard. What is really hard, it's obtaining the squirrels to recipe. Unfortunately, you cannot buy it unless you buy it from other player. And how you obtain it? Uh, it requires some grind. Basically all the forest area, events in here and dailies, like leader of the park, you can do it. Like you can collect this water data. Uh, you can visit sweets water and give him honey. And if you really want to grind the easiest way is Forte Soil uh, in Voltec Agricultural Research Center. You just hop servers and do the event in here. Event is triggered when you appear in this area. Then either event is available and will appear or event is not available and you need to jump server again. And this event, the good side of this event is that you can do it in one minute. But chance of getting this plan getting this recipe is very low, then it will work hard to get it. But assuming you have it, or you are about to start your grind and try to get it, uh, let's go into the details, how to get ingredients. First, the squirrel pieces, that's the best place to find the squirrels. There's a couple squirrels, and there is a little bit away from any other places known to people that have squirrels, and uh, someone told me about this spot on the live stream, then I'm going to share that. What is very important, if you have this perk, Butcher's Bounty, equip it. And for crafting, of course, keep equipped super duper. Now from the spa spawn point, if you go into top of the world, you will need to run to the right side. We'll be over there. See? A little bit farther. Behind those trees, just left from this pylon. And you see that squirrel. You kill it and Watcher's Bounty triggered, I have extra meat. Okay, in third person sometimes I cannot collect. And you can hear them, there's another one. Another squirrel bits. And third one. Then here you have three squirrels, usually enough meat to craft like two stew. Then, if you need salt, the best place will be White Spring Golf Club. There's a lot of salt. If you need more like pepper, salt and... Anything like that, you can go to Helvetia. There is this stuff as well, especially in the restaurant. Check the restaurant there. But Golf Club is my place to go because on the way, uh, you should fast travel into White Spring service entrance. You can find two more squares over there. Just turn around, run back towards the train station. Just run towards the train station and. In here, yeah, you should be able to find some squirrels. The vats is very helpful, and grass that I have disabled is very helpful too. And we have two squirrels in this spot. And that's enough squirrel to craft some food. We don't actually need those more rats. In the golf club, it is quite handy if you remove those ghouls before collecting salt. After you'll be done with ghouls, check all the tables and you will find usually pepper and salt in here. You are mainly interested in salt, but who knows if you will need pepper later, then grab it. And when you will be searching, check the kitchens as well and grab spices if you'll be crafting more stuff. Pepper, salt and spice, it's always handy to have. And after you will get those ingredients, you should have in your camp some tato. And just harvest them. If you don't have them in your camp, then 
go whenever they grow and grab some if you don't know the one of the possible spots will be in here smith's farm and now back into the cooking station and as you can see this character that i'm currently using it's my main and it's herbivore therefore it's showing zero experience bonus but it is working i will transfer this testy square stew to my carnivore character and i will show you exactly how it's worked but first let's craft it don't forget to equip super duper before we start and as you can see we have enough salt squirrel bits and tato to craft three of those and that would be fine for now other food that i want to show you how it works it's cranberry meatball grinder and this one is a little bit harder to craft because you need scorch bees meat exactly three scorch bees meat to craft one cranberry meatball grinder then you will need to farm those scorch bees a lot apart from that cranberries are easy to get spices you should get already from the golf club and if not go to helvetia and grab some more scorch bees meat is a hard part because you will need to visit those fishers a lot but good thing is you will grind a lot of experience killing those scorch bees and now let's see this in action what is important to get this 25 percent bonus experience instead of just 20 percent bonus experience it's to equip strange in numbers and you need to be on a team as well strange in numbers 25 percent stronger mutations when you are on a team and your teammate need to be mutated as well but like almost everyone is mutated then basically you just need a teammate and 25% stronger means 5% more experience from it. Then you consume it and you can check in your stats under effects and it will appear in here when there is this food marker Testy Squares 2 and it lasts one hour and it gives you 25% experience. This restore health, it's only temporary just after you eat it. And as you can see, I'm using as well Scorch Beast Brain, broad Scorch Beast Brain as when I was farming for Scorch Beast Meat, I get a lot of brains as well. That's seven and a half intelligence. That's a lot. And now experience is self-explanatory and you know how it works, but this is the fun stuff. Cranberry Meatball Grinder. 625 health, but that's not the part that is, that is important. Max health, 100. 100 to your max health. Just let's eat one and I will show you what does it mean. As you can see, now my HP is 423. I'm basically limited by my rats. And by the way, my armor and everything, it's nothing really special. As you can see, like 400 resistance, not too much radiation resistance. It's just a full set of unyielding pieces. The chest piece is a secret service, but other pieces, it's just mix of leather, combat armor and metal armor. Then nothing special. Uh, my perks, if you want to see, nothing unusual here either. I even have equipped Super Duper and I will keep it instead of instead of Serendipity as I want to show you what exactly this 100 bonus health means. Just let me find some scary robots, possibly a bunch of them. Okay, let's see if I can attract any robots. We have a Sentry Annihilator and he's working really hard to do something to me. And he's triggering my Nerd Rage as my health was a little bit too high to trigger Nerd Rage. He's shooting me, he's doing damage, but as I have so much health, it's not doing much. Now I just sprinted for a little bit. And whenever I sprint, as you know, Speed Demon side effect, your bonus health directly affects your ability to restore health. Then even though I'm taking damage, as you can see, he's doing his best to actually hit me hard. He's overheating. But I'm basically like immortal. With this stuff I'm mortal. Hey, wake up. He's tired. Okay, he's waking up. I, I see some more robots somewhere. Please shoot me harder. <laughs> you see guys, that, that would this food do. This meatball grinder, this cranberry meatball grinder. It's the only food that can give this effect and it's only available for carnivores there is no equivalent for herbivores because only this one food work uh, there is as well bl bloodback steak that is giving uh, giving health but i cannot find bloodback meat anywhere otherwise it will be easier to craft than this stuff as you can see he's hitting me 
a robot shooting, uh, there is some gutsy shooting at me and can I find more robots? Let me see. Okay, now uh, as you can see I'm under heavy fire and some guts is from over there. I uh, have some guts is from over there. Uh, this annihilator sentry bot is shooting me. There is some protection guardian shooting hard. And basically the limiting factor is my rats to even be in nerd rage. I struggle to be in nerd rage. What I need to do to be in nerd rage, I actually need to drink vodka and take some damage. Now my total maximum HP is 500. They will need to shoot me. They, as you can see, they are doing damage if they're shooting all together. But in the same time, I'm basically immortal. For every practical reason, for every practical purpose, I'm immortal. Like, they're not, they cannot kill me unless I will be sitting like that and not moving. But as I move, as I run around, my health will keep regenerating to 100. And now I'm all the time in Nerd Rage. Because I drank this vodka to boost my maximum HP even farther. So you can see those robots are getting tired of shooting on me. There is a Gutsy, there is Annihilation Sentry Bot, there is some other robot, there is more robots. As you can see I'm getting shot from everywhere. Uh, my armor is breaking, but they cannot kill me. They can break my armor, they cannot kill me. That's for every practical purpose, as I said. You are immortal if this food. This is just a demonstration how it exactly works. Like, I used to use vodka to put myself into temporary, like almost immortal state, but this is stronger and this lasts for an hour. It does require some farming, but at least recipe is easily available. Recipe you, you just buy from White Spring. Yeah, I will show you where to buy it. I just need to kill those uh, guys and I will show you where to buy it for those of you that do not know. You can see it's a lot of robots. Three, four, five, six, that's seven. Okay, to buy the recipe for Meatball Grinder, just fast travel to White Spring Resort. And after entering through the main entrance, just go towards the shops, run to the right, and the shop you are looking for will be on the left. It's in here, the pink one, Le Grand Gourmet. And you go, speak with Antoine, I mean trade with him. And here, he's selling recipe for meatball grinder, really cheap, below 100 cap, and you will not spend too much on that. And just do not forget, for everything to work, for this health regeneration, I have dedicated video explaining that, I did it long time ago, but basically you need side effect of speed demon in order for this health regeneration to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little guide, I mean not very short as I was trying to explain possibly everything, if I miss anything of course let me know in comments section. And now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.